Hello and welcome to another video from DigiOS Multimedia. In this video I will demonstrate how to <clears throat> create a file upload for either a single or a multiple file uh, upload using ASP.NET MVC4. To begin I've created um, a simple basic uh, ASP.NET MVC4 project uh, called a file upload test one which has a single uh, home controller with a single uh, action inside of it called index and uh, the view that's associated with it. I have also uh, created a <clears throat> class called picture uh, with a single property called, um, well, let's call this file in the beginning. Um, just so that it represents it. We're just going to do the f a single file first, and then I'm going to show the multiple files. So for a single file, this is going to be sufficient. And so all we have to do now is uh, create a form for the file upload, which I have um, already done so. Uh, and I'm just going to copy and paste it in and explain. So here we've got a post uh, the form gets posted it's a multi-part form data which means um, it has actual data uh, a file associated with it and a an input type uh, of type file and i named the name of the input also file with a capital f and a single submit button uh, called upload which uploads the file so that really is all you need for the form. So uh, now we need to um, create another uh, controller action for posting. And I've also prepared a, a code snippet for that. So an HTTP post, and we call this again index, which takes the picture um, parameter in and checks if the picture has an actual content, if the content length is greater than zero, then it gets the file name and the path to the content images folder um, of our project. And it calls the save as uh, method to save it. That's really all <clears throat> we need to do. So let's open up this uh, folder location here. And um, that way, we can observe as it uh, the file gets uploaded. So I'm going to debug it. So here, if I hit the browse button, let's just say I select one picture. Now note that I cannot select more than one picture right now because we only enabled a single file upload. So you know, if I hold down the control key and click on another one, the uh, the first one gets selected and so forth and so on. So if I hit open and upload, the picture goes in the uh, folder location, which is great. That's what we want. So now let's get rid of this guy here again. So the question is, how can we um, change this to be a multi-file upload? Well, let's start here the first thing that I'm gonna to have to do is I innumerable the uh, HTTP posted file base and let's call this files instead and here on our form we're gonna to have to up update this to files also and I'm going to um, uh, add an attribute to this field called multiple and all this means is it tells the form that you can, the user can select more than one file um, when they're selecting for this field so that's really all there's to it for that and so of course we change this now so i'm going to have to change uh, this to an for each loop now so let's um change this for each variable file in picture dot files so I'm gonna loop through here now 
and let's move this guy in here and there we go all right so <clears throat> now i've got to obviously call this file and this guy has to be file and this also has to be file but really the rest of it um, stays the same so all i'm doing here is i'm looping through all the files that have been selected here uh, through the picture parameter and for each file i'm checking again the content and getting the file name for it and the path and saving it to this uh, folder location that we had previously which is uh, right here so um let's uh debug this again see if we can uh, get this to work Okay, so if I browse, now I can select the first one. If I hold down the control key and click again on another file, I can now select the second and a third file. And then it will basically concatenate all the file names uh, together. So you notice uh, it, it surrounds them by double quotes. So then you can say open. And when you hit upload, it should upload all these files in here which it does. Now, this is really all you have to do um, for multiple file upload. There is, however, another a gotcha. Um, if you select too many files, um, then you will get an error message because it will time out. So something else that you should do is to add a line to increase the runtime uh, length like so. So find the system web uh, node and write this uh, XML tag right here, HTTP runtime, maximum request length, and then the length of the maximum request uh, that you want to support. So once you do that, um, you're now able to select uh, up to two gigs um, of files. So. Let's try again with more files. Oops, yeah. Hold on a second. Browse, let's say two, three, four, five. Let's say we want to do five now, which traditionally it should time out. But now, since we've increased the maximum request length, it does not time out. So that's all I wanted to cover. Please subscribe, and uh, I would love to hear any comments or suggestions that you have, uh, either for this video or any future videos. Thanks for watching.